the rest of the way. So my regular viewers know that uh, I'm a concrete contractor by trade. Uh, so sometimes that allows us to do more than just concrete, not only brick, block, stone, concrete, but sometimes other things as well. And so that's what we're doing here today. Uh, what we're gonna be doing is uh, installing some deco seal around a pool. Now, I don't know if you guys have, have a pool or in the area that you have a pool, but um, what generally happens is uh, when concrete deck is poured up against a pool coping or pool bombing, it, uh, it, you have to provide a separation there. And that's what the deco seal is. It is a, uh, is a pliable material that is a two part and it's mixed together and uh, it is put between the, let me show you here, uh, the, the pool deck and the coping itself. And what it does, it's, 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 it's designed for um, moving, movement and flexibility. The pool shell and the coping itself um, with the deck are separate. So with uh, heat, cold, expansion, uh, there's, uh, there's a little bit of movement there. And so that's what the flexibility of this material does. Also allows water not to get in between this. If water gets between this, it could cause erosion and then uh, the deck could possibly lift. So that's what we're gonna be doing today, installing some deco seal around this beautiful pool. So my guys are gonna be here in a few minutes. I'll show you the process. Okay, so the process here is this foam uh, comes when, when you install the foam prior to putting the concrete deck up, it comes in two parts. Uh, so when you put the foam on, when you pour the deck, later you come back and separate the foam when it takes it down about a half of an inch. And you can see what's going on right here. Uh, that is the process that it takes right there. Uh, it has been almost a year since this has been done, so the foam is having a little bit of uh, trouble separating because it's kind of dried out. But that's the idea. You can see it comes right off right there. And as soon as all the foam gets removed to that distance, then we fill everything in with a, with a silica sand, which is a really fine sand, and that fills up all the gaps and gets everything filled up uh, ready for the material that we're going to put in. Okay, so once all the foam is, uh, is removed, and then it's time to put the silica sand in the gap and fill all the crevices and the voids. And this is kind of what that looks like. As you can see, you just pour the sand in there and then you sweep it in and it fills everything, all the voids and gets ready for the material. Uh, like to scrape it down about a quarter of an inch below the surface. Uh, that allows uh, plenty uh, of adhesion for the material that we're going to be putting in there. Okay, so here's another angle on the front side. This is what it looks like before the sand goes in. And then you can see how we spread the sand in the hole and it just fills up everything. And then once the sand is in, like I said, we clear it down to about a quarter to three eighths below the surface and then we're ready to apply the material. Sometimes uh, uh, it takes a couple times to go through with the sand. Uh, the sand sometimes sneaks through the cracks and need to come back and refill it. And that's, uh, that's the case that's what's happening right here. We're just having to come back and fill those voids up uh, and get it ready. Here's another good example of uh, the sand falling through right here. Uh, we'll have to come back and fill that again so everything gets filled up. If you don't fill the sand up like this and it's not solid, uh, the material will just continue to leak right on through. So it's important that uh, everything gets filled up to where it is nice and consistent looking like this all the way. Okay, so this is the product that we are using. It is Deco Seal. It is a two-part uh, product. Uh, you mix uh, the two pieces, the two parts together, and it becomes um, to where it's going to get actually get finished, rubberized, and, and complete. Right now, without the hardener mixed in there, um, it'll never get hard. So by doing this, mixing it is very critical. Uh, mixing time should be at least 10 minutes to be sure it's thoroughly mixed, and then it'll be ready to apply. Okay, so here's the process. Once it's all sanded out and the material is, is fully mixed, we transfer it into a little quart squeeze container. 
and then it is squeezed into the gap. The important thing here is that you don't overfill it so it flows onto the, uh, the pool coping or flows over the pool deck itself. The idea is to just fill the gap uh, so it goes from side to side complete. And this is what we're doing right here. Okay, so here's the finished product right here. You can see that after we're done, we're sprinkling a little bit of silica sand over the top of the, uh, of the sealant. And this just uh, makes it so it's not so slick and provides a little bit of traction. Uh, and it just gives it a, a good finished look. So here's what it looks like prior to. Everything is nice and filled up, uh, looking really good. And then you come back with the silica sand and just dress it up and that uh, finished product. Once this all dries in about 24 hours, that sand just gets washed away or broomed away and uh, it's a perfect job. So there you go, uh, replacing the deco seal uh, around the pool. I hope you guys found this informative. Thanks for watching.